Did you know there's a new axe motor? Welcome back, nerd friends. Thanks for tuning in. We're back at the Nerd Bench with a fresh unboxing, a 2300 kV, 540 sized Axe R2 FOC motor. So besides the kV, the big thing that's, that's different about this newest motor is the length. It is 50 millimeters in length versus the previous ones being closer to 58 millimeters in length. Um, the probably the only downside to the axe motors was that some of them they're the for some vehicles it would they just didn't fit quite easily there you have it that is the new 2300 axe 540 the r2 is the newer generation or the latest generation with the new style sensor plug they don't have the screws on them anymore like the original did and it's still very waterproof just a little bit sleeker design this will work with any of the axe r2 speed controls it will not work with the older generation axes just like the, the previous motors that was the same situation but we can get these guys side by side here so you can see how much shorter that is i'm buttoning those right up next to each other but don't worry i got the calipers so you see just under 49 or just under 50 millimeters i think it's officially listed as 49.85 something to that effect but should be able to fit into the capras and all those other tight squeezes real easy the, the vanquish rig i think one of those had an issue as well as compared to the previous motors this is the uh 540l that is closer to 58 millimeters as you can see there and the 550 version was a uh, full almost 64 millimeters. So. Big uh, the other difference is the KV as well. Of course, it's still gonna be waterproof with this shift in size. You get a little bit diff different KV, of course. So it falls kind of right between the 2100 and the 2800 540L. Mm. Previous generation of the Axe, 2300 was my favorite. So I'm very excited that this is back. And as this is an Axe FOC setup, these only work with Axe R2 speed controls. You might be able to hook up a sensorless speed control and make it operate, but you don't wanna have the, your fancy FOC system being operated by anything other than an FOC speed control. And with these, only the Axe R2 speed control. If you do swap motors in your Axe systems, pro tip, redo the automatic motor pairing process that's the part where you unplug it from the receiver turn it on hold down the set button and it starts blinking lights and running the motor on its own you want to make sure that you do that anytime you swap motors so that the speed control can introduce itself to the new sensor harness and get all that id stuff correct part, i always try to run like a daub of bearing oil down here or maybe when before i put my pinion gear on i'll run some grease down here and the main reason is just to stop as much water as you can from getting into the this bearing surface because it'll run kind of through around the bearing along the, the the shaft surface between the bearing there's there's only so much that you can do so a little bit of oil or grease on your output shaft of your motor will help keep stuff from getting in there if you do drive it in a lot of water like we all like to do these days but for the most part the rest of it is very sealed up don't forget if you're in a podcast we have a podcast as well just look up rc stuff powered by hobby wing on your favorite podcast service we give away free rc stuff every episode you definitely don't want to miss out on thanks that. for tuning in to another episode of the charlie show new every tuesday if you do have any questions about anything you've seen here or other products please do shoot us an email north america at hobbywing.com thanks for watching everybody we will see you next time